Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys my everyday makeup routine. This is kind of like my routine if I'm going somewhere or doing something. Um, I definitely don't do this like full look if I'm just staying home, it's a little bit lighter. But since this is a makeup tutorial, I wanted to share like my everyday makeup routine if I am doing something that day. So this is super highly requested. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Oh, by the way, um, I didn't do my hair because I'm about to also film how I curl my short hair. So stay tuned for that. Without further ado, let's get right into the makeup tutorial. First, I'm gonna be taking this Pixie H2O skin tint and just applying it all over my face. And then I'm going in with the Pixi. This is the Correction Concentrate Brightening Peach. I love this under my eyes. I have really dark spots like on the outer corners of my eyes. I have a newborn and a toddler, so I'm super tired. Um, and I just absolutely love this. I apply this with my finger. And then lately, instead of like a heavy, heavy concealer, I've been going in with the Wander Beauty Nude Illusion Liquid Foundation and just kind of applying this like where I would my concealer, but then kind of blending it out like all over my face, if that makes sense. So I just kind of do it here. Like I said, kind of where I would my concealer. Um, and I've just really been liking how this looks, how natural it looks and how light it is like on my skin. So I'm not really applying foundation all over, but with the skin tint, it just like works really well and evens everything out. So I'm just going in and blending this out with a beauty blender. Okay, so that is like really quick and easy to blend out. Now, because I am breaking out on my chin, I'm also going to tap on a concealer. This is the Wander Beauty Duelist Concealer, so it has an illuminating side and a matte side. I just take the matte stick and I just kind of tap it like that. So this is probably a third of what I would normally use if I didn't have like the foundation and skin tint underneath. Um, but I really just do this under my eyes and then any spots that I have. Okay, so now my skin is looking pretty even. In the viewfinder, it's showing up like really white right here, but it doesn't look like that in person, so I don't really know what's happening there. But to set everything, I use the Wet n Wild Translucent Photo Focus Powder. This is so inexpensive and really good and humongous. Just use a big fluffy brush. Wow, a little too much. And I just kind of set like mostly my T-zone. I don't always do eyeshadow, but I'm taking the Tartlet and Bloom palette. Love this. It's a holy grail for me. Um, I pretty much, yeah, I don't use any other eyeshadow. I just use this. So I'm going into the lightest shade. It's like a white creamy color on the top. And I just blend that on the inner third of my eye and then up on my brow bone. So when I'm freshly spray tanned, this color shows up a lot better and I really like it. It gives like a nice pop, but my spray tan has kind of like washed off my face, so I'm gonna have to go in with some bronzer later. But then going in with Sweetheart and Rebel, and I mix these two shades at the bottom. So I just do a little tap tap in both, and then work that on the outer third. I'm gonna go in with this dark shade called Leader and do that on the outer third as well, just to darken it up a bit. That is it for my eyes. For bronzer, I'm using the Pretty Vulgar Bronzer. This one is in the color Bronzed B. I really, really, really love this. I think it's amazing when my spray tan is fresh. Um, if you're wondering what I get for a spray tan, I get light clear. I've never gotten anything darker clear, but anyway, I really like this when I have my spray tan. For a more affordable option, I love the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. That is what I will be purchasing after I am out of this one. Um, that is like my go-to bronzer that is more affordable and at the drugstore. So I just like to do this like not quite on the hollow but just above the hollow of my cheek 
and then work it up onto my forehead a little bit. Okay, then run it up like over my nose and kind of brush it like this, just whatever's left on the brush. So it looks a little more natural. And then I take a little bit under my jawline. Okay, then going in with blush, this is the Wander Beauty Double Date Lip and Cheek. I have been obsessed with this blush, so it comes with a whoops. So it comes with a cream blush on top, and then it also comes with this gloss on the bottom. I love it mostly for my cheeks, and I've actually used the gloss as like a highlight when I'm wearing like barely any makeup, and I just keep it really, really dewy and natural. I do also like it on my lips, and the gloss is nice for that too, but I'm just taking a dense brush and popping it in once. You can see it picks up a lot of color. I then just kind of go like this on the back of my hand to take some of it off and just kind of warm it up and then I apply it to my cheek. So this just gives like the most natural skin-like look, I feel like, and I just really love it. It's kind of extra to like do this whole process, but for me, it's worth it. I really focus on my skin. If I'm going to spend any time doing my makeup, it's really like on my skin. So. Okay, so for highlighter, you guys have probably heard me talk about this. This is the Steve Laurent Prosecco Please Jelly Highlighter. It's like a cream jelly consistency. I usually apply this with my fingers, but lately I've been liking to do it with my sponge just to make it quicker. So I just use this side, like the short side of my sponge. By the way, this is the Wander Beauty Sponge. Game changer. This is so good. I really love the Real Technique um, Beauty Sponge, but this one... This one's really good too. So anyway, I just like to take this short side and just kind of dip it in and then apply it to the high points of my cheeks and blend it up to my brow bone. And do that like twice on both sides. And it applies beautifully with your finger, but it just takes a lot more time to do that. So I don't really have time on my side these days. Okay, and then usually I will just take my pinky and kind of dot it in here and do a little, a little dot on the inner corners to brighten things up. Next, I'm using the Wander Beauty. This is just their clear brow gel. They do have tinted ones, um, which I've tried before and they're really good. I like that it has this really small brush, um, but I just brush my brows straight up to like disperse the product. And then I take the brush without dipping it again and I just kind of shape them up. I really need to get my brows done so they are not looking their best. Um, but the good thing uh, the bushy look is in because I'm rocking it. Okay, so for my lips, I'm gonna take my washcloth. This is what I usually do, but I have a ton of Carmex on my lips right now. So I just kind of like exfoliate it off. And then they just still feel really moisturized, but they're like ready for a lip product. So I'm gonna go in with the NYX Liquid Suede um, Lip Cream. And this is in the color Sandstorm, which I really like. I wish this had a tiny bit more like pinky red to it. Like it's super brown, I'll show you. Like it's super neutral, which it's called Sandstorm, so. And don't get me wrong, I love this lip color, but I feel like it does wash me out a tiny bit. So for an extra step that I absolutely do not need or have time for, I go in with the MAC Whirl Liner and line my lips and then just kind of like blend it in with the Sandstorm. And as you can see, like that just made a huge difference, just doing that little bit. I just need that little bit more of a pigment. Like this is a great lip color. Okay, now I'm gonna set everything. So I'm going in with the Wander Beauty Glow Getter Mist. This is not sponsored by Wander Beauty. Actually just doing this tutorial is showing me how many products I use by them. Um, they do send me PR packages all the time. So I have a ton of their makeup, but um, I just happen to grab for their stuff because it's really good. So um, yeah, I just wanted to throw that out there. It's not sponsored, but I'm using a ton of their products. Um, for a drugstore option, I love the Milani Make It Last setting spray. That is my go-to. I'm gonna spritz my face. This one smells really good and refreshing. 
It also has like a super fine mist, like super, super fine. Okay, now that that's kind of dried down, I just like to take my beauty blender again and just press that into my skin. Again, if I am going to spend time on my makeup, it's on my skin. So um, this, I feel like, just presses all the product like down and makes it look a lot more natural. These got all wonky because I sprayed my, <laughs> my face. Okay, finally for mascara, I'm going in with the Voluminous Lash Paradise. Sorry, I have like fuzz on my tongue and I can't get it off. The Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara by L'Oreal. It's my go-to. I'm gonna coat my lashes. So I like to go to my root and like shake it and then kind of shimmy up and blink. And then mine can get really thick and like um, cakey on the tips. So once I do that like shake and pull, then I just kind of like tap the rest of my lashes, if that makes sense. Okay, because I have like a weird shadow over here, it's showing up like I have more mascara on this eye, but I don't think that I do. Okay guys, this is the final look. This is my everyday makeup routine if I'm like going somewhere or doing something. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. I will link all the products down below if you guys are interested in ordering any of them um, in case you can't get your hands on them in store. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.